create a, a great painting, you need a good idea. One of the best ways of developing uh, ideas is by drawing. You can test ideas and you can uh, see if they work or not. The dial. I'll use the dial to hold the whole composition together. It's good to work out an idea on paper before you start painting. I've got an idea of doing a painting of children with sparkly. We're working up the idea or cartoon first. children with sparklets. Then we'll transfer it across over onto the camera. What we do now is we just um, shift the idea that we have from our drawing onto canvas. This is also hard for me, in a way, because I'm making this video myself. So I'm shooting it as well as doing the painting, which is pretty hard because I have to be in two places at once. So I really have to uh, move very fast. Sparklers are quite an interesting subject when you think about it. In a way it's a new subject. But if you give children sparklers at night after a party or something, their nature changes straight away. They start to experiment uh, with the sparklers as if they're using an instinctive language. They start to write their names. Uh, with with the uh, the glow of the sparklers, they do arabesques, they do circles, and uh, they generally experiment and return to a type of uh, instinctive uh, fantasy. And uh, they change their nature. My work with the uh, children's sparklers is also my intention is to create a companion piece for a painting of children, the children's, the children, the beginning of the children's ballet lesson. The painting is nearly finished now, and uh, it's meant to suggest something about the mystery of life and the. Uh, copy something of the energy of the occasion of children and sparklers. A great painting has to remind you of something important about life. Yes, that's it. <laughs>